For the first time in its 60-year history, the college entrance exam, known as the ACT, is making major changes. However, many high school students are nervous about this. CBS 2's Valerie Castro reports. Fort Lee High School freshman Alexander Lopez has yet to start his ACT studies, but is eager about the new changes. Students should be able to, you know, able to redo it if they did think they did a bad job. On Tuesday, ACT officials announced major policy changes to the college admission test. Soon students can take them online at test centers, combine the best sections from different test states to make a super score, and the most groundbreaking, retake one section of the test they did poorly on without having to repeat the entire thing. Every child is anxious, especially it's a test, so um, I'm hoping it will be helpful. Since they have a second chance, um, they have like a good chance in joining college. The test is broken up into four sections and lasts about three hours. Since the adjustments take effect in September of 2020, many seniors who just submitted their scores to colleges feel cheated. Studied for that test for two years. It's not fair to the people in the past who have studied so much for these four sections to take it at the same time. I would have loved to like restart one of my sections and like get a better score. About 2 million American students took the ACTs last year. Standardized testing is still a big piece of the college admissions process. The college advisor and head counselor of expert admissions, Barry Norman, says these changes may not be in everyone's favor. You might have some choices based on these new changes, but what really is going to determine if they're available to you is what schools are you applying to and how do we anticipate that they're going to react to it? Policies may have changed, but the anticipation of waiting on acceptance letters probably never will. Valerie Castro, CBS 2 News.